Well, okay. As I said, I would like to start now from your questions. I know there's a wide question of context that uh, it's probably very hard to understand from you. I would like this to would, would come out from your questions and then please to answer. Who are they? <laughs> um, it, Roma, Roma it's, it's, a, it's the most undefinable uh, population worldwide. It's, um, it's a population that's present in Europe since uh, the 14th century and, uh, and uh, originally coming from India. And the reason why they move away, uh, there are several there are mythologies about this. And, but they've been inhabiting Europe and um, uh, they are the only last transnational since Jewish nation, Israel, uh, reality of Europe. And uh, they are widely discriminated, okay. also because in the costumes they bring in attitudes, mm -hmm. which are sometimes are very ecological attitudes, mm -hmm. but they relate with a, 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 a nomadism that was their own characteristic, mm -hmm. even if they stabilized already mm -hmm. uh, centuries ago in the ex Yugoslavia. Mm -hmm. And in the specific, in Italy, we have Italian Roma, there's Roma in, in every country, and there's uh, a million different uh, communities of Roma mm -hmm. according with the work they do or where the region they're from and the region where they're now located. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's very hard to, it, it, they really play the game of uh, not being defined. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's also part of their attitude. Mm -hmm. But uh, in, in Italy, uh, let's say, they now they forced to live in camps. Mm -hmm. Either illegal uh, shacks, settlement like these ones, mm -hmm. or container camps when they get uh, welfare. Uh, from the nation. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and the CAP device has been developing uh, from uh, a first stage where it was uh, built to protect the right of movement of gypsy people along the territory. To protect their diversity, they built transit camps. Then the transit camps had uh, uh, on that the movement of Roma from Yugoslavia uh, because of the war and also with a very uncertain state mm -hmm. because the state of refugees mm -hmm. uh, was not recognized to a lot of them mm -hmm. because since they are nomads, mm -hmm. uh, they have no land that they are forced to escape, to, 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 to leave. Mm -hmm. So uh, they added the transit camp for Italian Gypsy, they added on that uh, refugee camp. Mm -hmm. And then now there is last wave, the uh, entering of Romania <coughs> in the uh, European Union brought in another very different community of Roma people, that uh, Romanian Roma people, that now since they can, uh, they had the Schengen border, so they could freely cross uh, the European borders, we had uh, an enormous amount of Romanians, and in between them a lot of Roma arriving in Rome. So it, it's a very complex mm -hmm. issue that the government for years, mm -hmm. left and right, both progressive and conservative, was not capable to face a lot because of ignorance, ignorance of the problem. The law on camp is based on their nomadism, and the 90% of them they have been settled for centuries. So uh, it's not, mm -hmm. it's not the, the point wasn't the correct point. Mm -hmm. And um, also another question is uh, uh, their transnationality. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have also a big part of them mm -hmm. that they're not recognized in their original country, mm -hmm. so they cannot re be repatriated mm -hmm. because the original country uh, you know, ex Yugoslavia got divided in nations, mm. almost according with every ethnic group, mm. but not not one piece of land for <coughs> Roma people. It's not that. Uh, and so they're not recognizing their country. They're not the right of staying in Italy because they never granted them a permit to stay. And even if we're talking about the third generation now, we have sons of people already born in Rome that still have no right to stay in Rome. And this uncertainty is just kept. Uh, to uh, allow their free uh, eviction and movement mm. through the territory according with the instinct of the regular population and according also with the chance of uh, a better uh, evaluation of the land. Mm. More questions? What? Maybe also on the practice, not about them, just about them. <laughs> So politically, how do they organize themselves in relation to the, the cities that they are adjacent to? Yeah, this is crucial. This is crucial because their attitude, it's, a, it's kind of clan attitude, big, a large family attitude. So uh, they usually 
uh, don't stick with other communities. They just connect it through the war by family relationships. And, and when I mean the war, it really means the war. Now, Roma people reach in the United States and Australia now. So they almost did the old tour of the war, starting from India. Uh, but uh, uh, now they're discovering the urge of having a political uh, representative. So they are into a, so a, 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 a process of transformation of their attitudes in attempting to, to, to create uh, a self-representation. And, and we are trying to empower in this, uh, uh, this uh, attitude. And the process of building on the house was very important in this very big settlement, the biggest in Rome, uh, almost 800 people from five different Roma communities, uh, because it was capable to put together the willing of do something together, the willing of creating a community across ourselves, non-Roma, they call us Gage, and Roma people produce an effort from them, so that they, after the house, they built also uh, a self-representative of the different communities, and now we have representatives for the camps, mm -hmm. and now together with them, we're trying to make a network of all the Roma communities in, uh, in the city of Rome. Mm -hmm. How do you work uh, as stalker? As uh, stalker, as a group, how did you begin to work with them, and how do you work? What, what do you think? Say more in details. How, how the stalker works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, maybe this is also an important question. Um, we, um, uh, we usually follow the urge to uh, go and touch experience there where those territories, those, those buffer zones, mm -hmm. in between what people think and what reality is, what, in between ideologies and and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and and the physical spaces. So there was a there's been a very fast criminalization of those communities, especially after the arrival of the immigrants. So immediately they're connected with crime, and uh, and um, and also when these Rom Romanians Rome arrived, they started to settle in informal settlement all along the river banks of Rome, and uh, and there was a lot of talk about it. Uh, and and uh, and there was a, a, a very vicious circle from which uh, 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 politics, media, and uh, inhabitants, but not inhabitants, some kind of organized group of people, they started to uh, 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 invent some, somehow the, the history of these people. So our first attitude, as always, is to go and experience the place. So we started to walk made the project with the students. We often very much like to bring students with us and make our project chance of educational. Uh, so we did uh, uh, a walk all along the river banks for about 50 kilometers from, from the, the Mediterranean Sea up uh, to the, uh, outside the city of North of Rome. And we encountered uh, 54 settlements. And, uh, and we encountered the people. Uh, we approach to them, and, and you know, when you walk and you come from somewhere and you go somewhere else and you say you walk along for kilometers, people somehow, it's very welcoming uh, because it's very different the approach. You're, you're not a social assistant, you're not a player, you're not a politician, you're not a journalist, you're just a person that you know, walks by. And, and so this, this is a very great chance to create a confidence. And this is talking about the attitude. And uh, so we started to talk to them, to deal with them, and we realized they were not only Roma people. Uh, we were realizing that most of them, they're working. They were working in the, uh, in the uh, construction business. Basically, uh, the biggest, uh, 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 the incredible uh, increase of uh, construction in Rome in the last decade mm -hmm. was done with uh, workers that had no permit to stay, uh, so black labor. Black labor. Uh, they were paid 500, 600 euro a month, which is in Rome, the, the amount to rent an apartment, a room, not 